I'm Rick Davies. I'm a monitoring and evaluation consultant and I'm based in Cambridge. I'm Australian and I uh, work on the monitoring and evaluation of development aid programs in Africa and Asia. I guess the first question in my mind is what is development evaluation? And um, I think this, uh, the, the presentation by Michael Patton yesterday was useful um, in, in teasing that out for me. I'm not sure what I have a, a full and complete understanding, partly because the boundaries of it are a bit unclear. Um, I think the, ch the challenge that remains for me is when you're dealing with development projects whose design is changing over time, you know, there's a real challenge of how you do evaluate that, how much you hold people accountable for their original objectives and, and plans versus how they change over time. And, and development evaluation is, you know, is about um, allowing people to do that, to change their plans and their methods and to make sure your evaluation approach fits around those changes. Um, but it's still a little, quite unclear to me how you do that well. And I suppose yesterday I asked this question, what's the difference between random management and adaptive management in the sense of, you know, when I see some activities in a program, how can I tell that that's a result of good adaptive management versus just random haphazard changes? And I'm not sure I yet know the answer to that question. I think, I suppose one concern, uh, not a doubt, but more of a concern is I think people who are commissioning the evaluations that I might get engaged in uh, will generally want something more summative than formative. They'll be looking for some summary judgments that do relate to the original objectives and um, wouldn't want those original objectives and plans to be too left in the background. So I think that's one concern. And the other is I think perhaps a, more, a bigger problem is that uh, I think development of evaluation from what I can see requires a bit of an ongoing presence or engagement with projects whereas with the sort of evaluation I work I sort of get parachuted in for a short period of time to summarize a ridiculously large amount of information to come to ridiculously succinct and, and definitive judgments um, so in a sense the sort of boundaries within which I operate are perhaps not all that conducive to doing developmental evaluation and they're more they, they force you more down the sort of summative line. It's making me think more about how you could do this. Um, making me think this is worth, this is a problem worth thinking about rather than just sort of pushing in the background, which I think I've done in the past. So I think that's what's exciting for me right at the, at the moment, the most immediate thing, yeah.